Well, this Sunday would be what my friend Ben refers to as Blossom Sunday at Napa Assembly of God. He calls it that because these beautiful flowering cherry trees bloom. And there's really only one or two Sundays where we get to enjoy the full bloom of these trees. And I was thinking about that, and it got me thinking of what the Bible says in Isaiah chapter 40, in verse 8. It says, the grass withers, the flower fades, but the word of God stands forever. As beautiful as these flowers are, they do not last as is much of life. We live in a world of constant change, but it's good to know there are some things that do not change. One of those things is the Word of God, our Bible. The Bible is an eternal book because God is its author. 2 Timothy 3.16 says all scripture is inspired by God. It had many writers, but only one author. The men who wrote God's word were carried along like a leaf in the wind. A leaf in the wind will move according to the leaf's shape or its weight, but it will only go where the wind blows it. As we read the books of the Bible, we see each writer's personality, but they only wrote what God intended. This book is eternal book and it holds eternal promises. Eternal promises that are guaranteed by Jesus Christ. For in 2 Corinthians 1.20 it says, all the promises of God are yes and amen in Christ Jesus. There are people who held to these promises through times of persecution, through times of adversity, and they found the promises to be true. And the promises are not just for this life, but they are promises for eternity. For we are told, for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believes in him would not perish, but have eternal life. This book tells us of our Savior, who bled and died on the cross to take the punishment for our sin, who rose again the third day, and ascended to the right hand of the Father. This book is eternal. It's a firm foundation that we can build our lives on. You'll remember in Matthew 7, Jesus spoke of the man who built his house on the sand and the storm came and the winds blew and the fall of that house was great. But the man who built his house on the rock, that house stood firm. And that promise of a firm foundation, Jesus said, was not just for those who read his words, but those who acted on his words. If we finish the verse that we used toward the beginning of 2 Timothy 3.16, we know the word of God was inspired. And it is profitable for teaching, reproof, correction, and training in righteousness. And it's been broken down like this. Teaching shows us the way to go. In reproof, the Bible shows us where we got off the path. In correction, it shows us how to get back on the path. And in training in righteousness, it shows us how to stay on the path. Enjoy the flowers while they last, but know that we have something far more precious to look to, far more beautiful to hold. And it has stood the test of time. It is the Word of God, our Bible.